Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today, we're going to talk about investing in a stock market in mm -hmm. Vietnam. Um, usually, I cover the topic of investing in real estate, setting up a business. Uh, but today, I want to cover this subject because it may interest you guys. I invited a friend, Son, yep. who is a part-time trader. And mm -hmm. we're going to dig into this subject together. Okay. Uh, so maybe can you start by uh, each one you think the different ways if foreigners or even locals want to invest in Vietnam? Okay, so uh, thank you Guillaume for a great introduction about me <laughs> and also investing in Vietnam. So hello guys, really nice to meet you and pleased to talk with you on the very hard topic like investing in Vietnam. So for the background understanding, let's start with some investing channel in Vietnam. So you know, Gim, in Vietnam, we have three common channels that you can invest your money in. The first and foremost is the real estate market, which is a very long-lasting and well-known investing channel in Vietnam. So the second one would be the stock market, of course. So for over like 20 years, it's like it's emerging investing channel as it is booming like from the COVID so far. And the third one would be uh, investing to set up a new business in Vietnam. So, you know, the economy, the Vietnam economy is, is, you know, growing in a very good trajectory and good momentum over the past decade. So setting up a business in Vietnam is sometimes profitable for a foreign investor. So take a deeper look into each channel. So the first would be the real estate market. So actually investing in the real estate market has, um, you know, different size and form. You can uh, invest this using your own funds. You can buy uh, using the loan bank loans uh, which we could say the financial leverage and for like for swing traders uh, people who aim at the sh uh, short-term gains so they, they can focus more on the lane and the high-end apartments mm -hmm. but like for the value uh, trader which is they aim at the sh medium and long-term gains they can focus on like the me me middle and upper class apartment so that is avoid, you know, for the uh, real estate market. But actually, so far, um, because it's a long-lasting channel, the in investment required to invest in this channel is significant. Like you need to make money into the, you know, a big market. Uh, so having said that, actually, real estate markets is like one of the least liquid liquid channel, like investing channel. So and so far, the government has put more uh, and stricter regulation in the credit and also the requirement to invest into the real estate market especially for the foreign investor mm -hmm. okay so that's why going to the second channel which is the stock market so now you know is is emerging channel and is uh, is considered as an alternative channel for the real estate market uh, the first reason because it has higher liquidity and it requires less, you know, um, capital in intensity, uh, intensified. So small money can go mm -hmm. very fast. So it's so far, uh, it's a second channel. So the first, for the third channel, it will be uh, setting up a business and you start like doing business in Vietnam. So actually to do this, you need like a very good entrepreneurship and a clear business plan in place already. And also, um, the business environment here is, is uh, booming, but also there's a lot of risks involved in setting up the business. Okay, so you say, number one, creating mm. a business if you have an entrepreneurship mindset. Yeah. Number two, you can buy apartments, but of course, you will need a lot of capital uh, to invest. Yeah. And you have this problem of liquidity. If you want to sell your apartment, it won't be that easy. Yeah. So come to the end point of investing in the stock market in Vietnam. What have you seen as the changes as well as the expectation and, and trends that okay. we can anticipate for the stock market? Okay, so for the historical performance of the Vietnamese stock market, so just one word, growth. So it's booming since it's established in uh, like 20 years ago in 2000. So like the, the, com the number of companies listed increased like 800 times from just two companies in 2000 to up to 1,600 1, companies in 20, as of 2021. So it's like 800 times bigger the size of the company, uh, the number of the company, right? But it also, like, the, the value, the trading value also, uh, you know, increased significantly 
So currently, the average trading value, you know, reach 650 million US dollar per day per trading session, right? So talking about a market capitalization, so over the past 10 years, the Vietnamese stock market increased 405% in size. So which means with the uh, compound annual growth rate of 70%. Mm-hmm. So let's take a look on some peers uh, in the Southeast Asian countries. So for example, uh, Thailand uh, growth rate is just about 6%, and the like Indonesian is just like 4%. So impressive growth, right? Mm-hmm. And also, uh, this in addition to like the market cap expansion, our economic growth also like at the top tier amongst the Southeast Asian country. So the compound annual growth rate of our economic will be like uh, around nine percent during the past ten years. Uh, Why that of uh, Thailand is just five uh, percent and uh, Malaysia just four percent. Mm-hmm. So very, very good economic outlook uh, and uh, the growth, uh, good growth trajectory from the market capitalizations. So actually, uh, the st- substantial you know, market cap expansion supported by, uh, you know, an impressive GDP growth. So it's also like saying that uh, Vietnamese stock markets are very potential. And we are, um, is it confirmed the attraction of the, the market? To the foreign investor. So actually, um, it's not because Vietnam is an emerging market mm-hmm. and that uh, there will be every year more and more growth that the Vietnamese stock market will always go up, right? Yeah. There can be some upside, some downside. Mm-hmm. Um, can you talk about the risk as well as the, the correlation from the Vietnamese stock market to other factors? Mm-hmm. Basically, what can impact the Vietnamese stock market? So talking about the factors, uh, you know, having impact on the stock market. So um, based on my experience, there, may, there are four major factors. So first and foremost is the uh, bank interest rate. So in Vietnamese, people putting a lot of money in banking, uh, bank saving accounts. So when the interest rate decrease increase, make some certain impact to the stock markets. So if the interest rate increase, so it will attract more money from other channels. So it will make like sometimes having a negative impact to the stock market. And uh, you know, in co- on, in contrast, if the bank interest rate just decrease, so more money put into like stock market. So that push the stock market uh, increase in a mm-hmm. short period. And this, uh, the second factor uh, would be the um, exchange rate between the USD and the BNB. So, you know, USD is a very powerful right, currency in the world, right? And also, uh, its um, exchange rate with Vietnam, uh, Vietnamese don't also having some impact uh, to the stock market, especially on the uh, foreign investment. So, for example, if the, inter- uh, the money, the Vietnamese money, have a high, you know, like more power than the USD currency, which means the USD and VND exchange rate decrease. So Vietnamese uh, foreign investor will need, we will, you know, having more Vietnamese dollar, and they will put this money into the market. So in contrast, it the exchange rate between the USD and the VND increase, which means now the USD is more valuable. And their investment in Vietnamese dong will de- de- decrease, right? So they try to sell the investment to put into the USD. So that is just the, the change in the inter- interest rate. Mm-hmm. So this mainly impacts the foreign money, foreign investment. So the third factor would be economic growth. You know, good news on the economic performance will boost the morality of the investor. And they, you know, they will think that okay so the economic will grow have a good outlook and also the stock market so there will be some sort of correlation between the economic growth and the stock market uh, booming uh, and the four i mean the final factors which i think very interesting when uh, for the foreigner to invest in vietnam which is the bandwagon effect so actually the vietnamese stock market is crowded with uh, individual investors so these people are highly impacted by the bandwagon effect. So for those who don't know the bandwagon effect, it's just like you refer to some other's decision when you trade and are you making your decision. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of Facebook group, 
a Zalo group talking about uh, how to trade. And these, this group uh, have a lot of impact on how investor trade, actual trade in, in the market. So I think that's just four key factors based on my experience mm -hmm. uh, having a good impact, uh, having a big impact to like the Vietnamese market. So actually there will be always risk reward right? yeah. in any kind of, of investment. Mm -hmm. So you should get some first knowledge before getting starting and investing in the Vietnamese stock market. So let's say I have some, some money on the side. I'm a foreigner. I want to invest and serve this uh, booming economy. Uh, how okay. to invest in Vietnam? So talking about the ways that uh, foreign investor can enter the Vietnamese stock market. So I can think of two common ways. Uh, the first and foremost that you just open an uh, account at some brokerage firms and start trading on that platform. So this has a lot of uh, you know advantage, which means you can decide on which stock will you buy, or which strategy that you apply. But the downside is that you will be highly monitored by the government because you're a in foreign investor and your investment is considered like the foreign indirect investment. So you'll be monitored by the government, which I, I think will be very irritating for some foreigners. And the second approach that people can, uh, that foreigner, foreign, foreigner can use when uh, invest in the Viet Vietnamese stock market would be uh, buying the mutual funds, buying or selling the mutual funds. So the mutual fund is uh, like um, they are some uh, passive investment to the market. So the upside of the ETF funds would be uh, the ETFs would be uh, you will go out of the uh, government radars because you indirectly invest into the market right, through like the funds. So uh, compare this uh, compare the ETF with the um, you know self trading. So actually, for the ETF, they will be managed by um, um, a fund management company, so which they have a good team, they have good analysts, so they now will choose a very good portfolio on their own. So ba based on their decision, you can get money from their portfolio. So when you have to uh, trade on your own, so the profit and the benefit will be based on your understanding, uh, how, how good is your strategy is. And also your luck. <laughs> the disadvantage when uh, buying or selling the motor funds, I mean the ETF, uh, would be it would consume a lot of your time and effort in trading these uh, these stocks, because uh, there will be a limited timeline to trade these uh, ETF. So in here, it's like in uh, one or twice, once or twice a week on Thursday and Friday. So that's a very limited time. Okay. So let's say if you are more aware and if you want to take more risk, you can uh, jump into picking some stocks. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have a, a bigger exposure and invest in uh, different sectors or maybe just buying the Vietnamese index, you yeah. can use ETF funds. So actually using ETF to invest in Vietnam is mm -hmm. something I share about a guide uh, for you guys. You can check in the description. You will find the link to access to this guide and to learn more about mm -hmm. investment uh, strategies in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. um, Talking a little bit more deep into this ETF, like can okay. you share a bit more about um, a specific ETF or specific sectors um, that you have seen? So ETF in Vietnam is uh, are the passive you know, investment fund that track the market index of a, a certain stock basket. So in Vietnam, there are a lot of uh, criteria used to create the ETF, but the most common one would be the market cap. Uh, so like the E1, uh, BFV, uh, VF, VN30, which is uh, an ETF based on uh, 30 biggest, uh, 30 biggest uh, market cap stock. In my opinion, the market cap ETF is, uh, you know, the efficient and simplest way for foreign investor to uh, to invest in the Vietnamese market, mm -hmm. stock market. Uh, because actually, there's a lot of ETF like this in the market. So you have a lot of uh, you have a vari variety of the product ranks that you can choose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, so, um, there is a specific ETF that I found for my broker that is in the US okay. and that can um, help you to invest in mm -hmm. Vietnam from a foreign and overseas bank account. And this ETF mm -hmm. is called uh, VNN from Van Eck. Uh, you can check more information about this. So I think the most mm -hmm. important is to get first knowledge and understand 
deep about uh, investment strategies as well as the proper way to invest in Vietnam before you get started. So let's say I want to jump into that and I want to buy my first stock or maybe buy my first ETF to invest in the Vietnamese stock market. Okay. How should I get started? Okay, that's a good question, Kim. But before I answer this question, there's something I would like to tell for, for an investor who want to enter this market. So you know that actually the Vietnamese market, the stock market is still young. And the stock price is still a little bit volatile because uh, the market is still subjected to the bandwagon effect, which I already mentioned in the previous questions. So that's why uh, foreign investors should be very specific on the expected margin, maybe five or 10 or 15, but you have to be uh, to have a very specific number. And also you have to set a very clear stop loss uh, cutting point, mm -hmm. which will help you to prevent uh, broke out when you invest in the channel. And also, uh, because the market is, is volatile, so the investor should av avoid the uh, bottom fishing or ever down uh, strategies uh, unless they have a very clear understanding of the uh, movement and also the insights from the market. And finally, uh, because you are a foreigner, you should team up with some you know, foreign, uh, domestic uh, trader or brokers because they understand the market very well. So they can give you a good advice or maybe propose some um, clear strategy on how you can gain the money uh, out of this market. Okay, that's, that's the key thing I would like to uh, deliver to the, the audience. Thank you, Sun, for, for this sharing um, based on your experience as well as what, what you see and what you observe about the last year mm -hmm. in the Vietnamese stock market. So now you can check in the description. I will leave some link, some resources. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to learn more about investment channels and how you can either um, investing in the stock market or different other channels to invest in Vietnam, mm -hmm. I invite you to check in the description. I will leave you some resources. Okay. Thanks again, uh, Son, for this video. Yeah, thank you, Guillaume. Thank and you guys for watching. And I Bye. see you in the next one. Thank see you. Bye-bye. And I'ma get it right, down sight like